Hey guys, good morning. Today is Wednesday, <laughs> uh, the 27th, I think so, I can't remember, <laughs> um, of October. I'm spacing. It's almost, it's almost done. I've almost done every single day. I haven't skipped a day yet. <laughs> I'm proud of myself, but uh, I'm sitting in the car. Devin's in his dentist. I went and waited for him, with him, until they called him um, back, which I did already. It is early in the morning. Lord mercy. I've never been to a dentist appointment this early in my life. <laughs> we uh, we got up at 6.30 and got Devin. Uh, my mom was already, I mean, Jesse. Okay, I'll focus. It's too early. <laughs> I haven't had any caffeine. I'm drinking water. Um, she was already awake. So we, when we left the house, he was awake on the couch, snuggled up. And um, we left on him, and I'm going to miss taking him to school. But, uh... I had everything laid out so my mom doesn't have to do anything except get him dressed. His backpack's packed and with his snack and his water bottle and all his little binder stuff that he has to take back to school. Uh, he has gym classes today, PE. So that's good. He didn't need anything extra. What else? Yeah. So she and I laid his big old jacket out because it was uh, when we left the house it was 36 degrees outside. It'll be a little bit warmer when they leave in a little while, but, um, still. Yeah, so she's going to take him to school, and then she's going to go back home. And then tonight, later today, we will pick him up from school. So, he loved having her at the house last night. She came about around 7, maybe. Uh, before that, actually. We were still watching Hocus Pocus when she came. After the trunk or treat, we watched Hocus Pocus. Me and Devin mostly. Jesse just kind of looked at it at every now and then. He was too busy eating candy and playing with um, Legos and stuff that he got at the book fair. Um, yeah, so it was fun. We went to the parent-teacher conference, and it did. It was good. She only had good things to say about Jesse, um, that he's doing really good and that he's improved a lot socially because that's one thing that he was slacking in because we skipped preschool because of 2020. <laughs> so um, I'm glad to hear that he's getting better with other kids, you know. But he's above average in math and in reading, which is good. It makes me happy because I worked hard on his uh, schooling last year. You know, preschooling. I was pre home preschooled. <laughs> Whatever. Um, so I felt good about that. And he does his work good and everything. It's just she, the one thing she did say is that he gets overwhelmed by sound, which we already knew. He's always been that way ever since he was little. If things get too loud, he'll just cover his ears and, like, clam up, you know, and not want to do stuff. Uh, it's just a sensory thing, I guess. And, um, Devin just texted me. Okay, I'll text him back in a minute. <laughs> but, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so, she said that sometimes if that happens during class, she'll ha she'll either quiet the class down and tell him that because Jesse needs to focus, which I think is sweet, you know, that, that she actually uh, addresses that instead of dismissing it like teachers used to do. <laughs> um, and she says sometimes also, at the end of the day, um, if he doesn't finish his work sheets, then she'll go back with him at the end of the day and they'll, they'll sit there together while the other kids are doing other things and finish up his worksheet. So that's nice to know that he, um, even though he's a little different than the other kids, you know, just you got the sensory issue, that she still works with him one-to-one, -one, which makes me feel good. Because a lot of times sensory issues and things like that are ignored by teachers and that cause the kids to fall behind. But uh, that makes me feel good. That's the only kind of issue he's ever had is a noise issue. And it's just a, like an overstimulant. If things get too loud, he just he has to stop, you know. And he's been that way ever since he was a little tiny baby. Um, so it's, it's interesting that, you know, not other people see it. Because <laughs> we've always known it and his granny and all that's always known it. But, uh, yeah, anyways, he's doing good in school. We went back to the book fair because it was family night, so the grown-ups could go in there. And we ended up buying him more books. He picked out a few things um, himself during school. And then we bought him two more Lego books while we were there. So, kind of expensive, but it goes, some of the money goes to the school's library, so um, it's worth it. <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm going to sit here and crochet. I brought a hat pattern that I'm working on, but I, I don't have it memorized yet. It's like a seed stitch one, so I have to, I can't film it because <laughs> I have to read it on my phone. And, um, I also brought my midwife blanket because I didn't know how long I'd be here. So I thought it'd be better to have extra projects just in case. <laughs> but I will catch up with you guys later throughout the day. I don't know.
know what me and Devin's gonna do this morning. At his after his dentist appointment, I gotta go over to the pharmacist right next door <laughs> and get my shots. I only got two left, one for today and one for tomorrow. And then I gotta go to another pharmacy to get my other pills because I asked them to call it into this one. And they called it into the old one, so it's not a big deal. But uh yeah. And then I'm sure we'll end up somewhere, because <laughs> we always do when we're alone, we end up going somewhere and shopping or something. But I will take clips throughout the day and catch you guys up, if I can remember. <laughs> hey guys, <laughs> I just got back from Dollar Tree and my, my lo oh, thrift store, my local thrift store. <laughs> I went to look for long sleeve shirts, because I'm trying not to buy them outright at the store, because they cost so much. And I only need big ones this winter. I think I'm going to have to buy them outright because I only found two and they're both Christmassy. <laughs> but, um, slim picking, so I'm going to have to go to another thrift store or just pay outright. But at Dollar Tree, I got some of these metal aluminum pans to put under our pumpkins so they're easier to clean up next week in case they rot. Because um, we had one rot one year and it was horrible. <laughs> and I got some more of these drain things. I need these big sizes. I use them in the kitchen and they get pretty gross pretty quick. So uh, I got some new one of those. Got me some Christmas nerds. I went there to get a shower cap and these pans, but they didn't have any shower caps. I had this thing, but I don't know if it's a shower cap. Ooh. Yeah, this is like a silky top thing. It's not gonna work. I couldn't tell by the packaging. But this is like to sleep in with your hair so it doesn't get messed up. I need a shower cap because I don't like to brush my hair all the time. I don't like to get it wet every time I take a shower. Because if I get my hair wet too much, it dries out and frizzes out. And now I have this thing. <laughs> I'll probably never use up. But yeah, so the shirts that I got. I got this um, Christmas one. It says, Merry Everything and Happy Always. T-shirt. I thought that was cute definitely up my alley. Oh, their Christmas clothes cost a little bit more than their regular clothes. Because normally t-shirts are $3.99, but these ones were $4.74. I guess because of, um, you know, holidays they pressed them up. But it needs to be washed. And then I got this sweater shirt. It's just a cute winter sweater. Oh, that was cute. Get that plastic out of there. I need more shirts <laughs> that are long sleeve and big. Because my stomach's bigger this winter than it will be, is normally is. <laughs> but those need to be washed. But yeah, so I just got back. Now I'm going to clean up the house a little bit. It's just, it's not dirty. It's just um, messy. <laughs> There's just stuff laying everywhere that it doesn't belong. So I'm probably going to turn on some music, tie my hair up, and just pick up stuff and put it back where it goes. The house smells really bad right now. <laughs> Because Devin cooked pizzas earlier when we got back from the dentist and cheese caught on fire in the stove and uh, it smoked at the house pretty bad. It's funny. <laughs> but I'll tell him he has to clean that because I'm not cleaning the stove. I hate cleaning the stove. But uh, I got all this fabric laid out for the next bag updates. This is Christmas fabric and regular fabric. Um, I'm going to cut all this up this weekend. I'm going to try to. All of it. And see what I all got to work with. And I'm going to try to get three shop updates out of this fabric. Uh, I will have to buy liner fabric because I don't have that much. I have some over there. Right there. <laughs> but I'll have to purchase some. And I got to order bag labels because I only have like 30 something left I think. And I, I need more. But I want to try to make three more shop updates this year. It'll be two in November and probably one in early December. And then I'll be done until after the new year and see how I feel when I'm super duper pregnant. <laughs> and uh, so I don't know after these ones, I don't know about bags. I don't know when bags are going to come out. And all of these are going to be drawstring bags. I'm not going to do any more quilted bags except the notion pouches. These are probably sets. They'll have notion pouches with them. Um, until after the new year because they're the most work and I'm just trying to take it more easy. The drawstring bags are super easy to like pop out. So I'm not worried about that. But I'm going to start doing that. Let's see, I just want to say, probably tomorrow I'll start cutting all this. I got all the bags still over there. I got to package them up. And uh, I still haven't printed my labels or anything. They go out tomorrow. So I'm going to uh, probably sit down this evening and package up all the bags. And uh, 
drop them off tomorrow after my pedicure. Or maybe before. Probably before. Because I don't have to go to my mother-in-law's until uh, 10. I gotta be here or there. So, yeah. I gotta do that tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna hop off here and clean up the house a little bit. It's pretty messy. 